Hello, this is Dr. Sandra Cabo. I have created a series of videos on how to help gallbladder problems. And if you have a gallbladder problem, or if you have lost your gallbladder and are still having problems, then these videos will be of great assistance to you. I have been a medical doctor for nearly 50 years, and I graduated with honours in medicine and surgery from the University of Adelaide, South Australia in 1975. I have always believed in a holistic approach to health issues, utilising modern medicine and natural therapies. This approach gets the best results and is a safer strategy. Let's look at stones in the gallbladder. Stones in the gallbladder are known as gallstones, and we doctors call it cholelithiasis. Gallstones in the gallbladder which do not cause obstruction are often silent. They are often picked up if you have an abdominal ultrasound scan as part of a routine checkup. Alternatively, you may have intermittent painful spasms in the right upper abdomen, pain in the back of the lower right chest or right shoulder or right neck. The pain will come and go and not be constant. Inflammation of the gallbladder. Inflammation of the gallbladder and cystic duct is known as cholecystitis. There are often gallstones present and the stone may be stuck in the cystic duct, causing blockage of the duct from the gallbladder. The main problem is the inflammation caused by infection in the gallbladder and cystic duct. This can be serious, and if very acute, removal of the gallbladder may be required. There will be constant pain, which can be in the right upper abdomen, lower right chest, and right shoulder area. There can be nausea and vomiting. There will be a fever, and a blood test will show a high white cell blood count indicating infection. Emergency surgery to remove the gallbladder is usually required and can be life-saving. A stone blocking the common bile duct. If a stone gets stuck in the common bile duct and blocks the flow of bile down this duct, this is called cholidocolithiasis. The blockage means the bile cannot flow into the small intestine. The blockage of bile flow causes bile to build up in the liver and bloodstream. This causes a yellow discoloration of the skin and eyes, and this is called jaundice. In cholidocolithiasis, there is usually no infection present, so there is no fever and the white blood cell count is not elevated. There may or may not be any pain present. An ultrasound scan of the liver and bile ducts will show dilated bile ducts due to blockage. The surgeon will perform a diagnostic procedure called an ERCP or endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. During the ERCP, the surgeon can remove the stone, blocking the bile duct without removing the gallbladder. During an ERC procedure, a long flexible lighted tube, endoscope, is passed via the mouth into the small intestine. This is similar to having a gastroscopy procedure. Dye is passed into the bile ducts through a small hollow tube catheter pass through the endoscope. If gallstones are detected, various balloons and baskets attached to the catheters can be passed into the bile ducts to grab and remove the stones. ERCP is used to remove stones blocking the common bile duct and this procedure lasts from one to two hours. Most people tolerate an ERCP well and feel fine afterwards. ERCP is done in a doctor's office 
clinic or hospital. You are not fully asleep during the procedure, but you will be given sedatives that make you sleepy. Most people do not feel significant discomfort during an ERCP. Sometimes ERCP must be done under general anaesthesia with you completely asleep. ERCP for removing stones. After ERCP, complications can occur in around 8% of people. So that's 8 in every 100 people who have an ERCP. Complications such as recurrence of stones in bile ducts, post-operative pancreatitis, bleeding and infection can occur. There are different reports on the recurrence rate of stones in the common bile duct after ERCP, ranging from 4 to 24%. After ERCP, removal of the gallbladder may be recommended for patients who get recurrent stones and symptoms. This can be avoided in patients with no symptoms. Cholangitis. Cholangitis is the medical name of the condition where there are gallstones blocking the common bile duct combined with inflammation and infection. Cholangitis is the most severe form of gallbladder disease. There is fever, abdominal pain, raised white blood cell count and jaundice present. There can be severe infection and the patient can go into life-threatening shock. Most patients respond to medical management with intravenous hydration and antibiotics. About 30% of patients require removal of the stones and drainage of the blocked common bile duct with ERCP. Studies show that performing emergent ERCP within 48 hours in patients with acute cholangitis is associated with lower rates of death and organ failure. Stones blocking the bile ducts. If a gallstone is stuck in the cystic duct, this is known as cholecystitis. This blocks the flow of bile from the gallbladder, causing constant pain in the right upper abdomen and perhaps the right shoulder, and a fever. You may have pain in the lower right chest, right shoulder blade, and the right side of the neck. This can be confused with a heart attack. There may be nausea and vomiting. If a gallstone is blocking the common bile duct, you will have jaundice with yellow discoloration of the eyes and skin. If you have stones and infection in the common bile duct, you will have a fever, jaundice and severe pain. There may be nausea and vomiting. If a gallstone gets stuck in the pancreatic duct, this can lead to blockage of the flow of digestive enzymes from the pancreas into the small intestine. The enzymes may start to destroy or digest the pancreas. This causes severe inflammation of the pancreas, known as pancreatitis. This causes upper abdominal pain radiating into the back, nausea and vomiting. So you can see there are a lot of potentially serious problems that can occur if stones get stuck in the various bile ducts in your biliary system. For more information on how to help gallbladder problems, see further series of our gallbladder videos and our book on gallbladder problems, or visit liverdoctor.com. If you have any questions, send us an email. We love to hear from you and we enjoy answering your questions. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe.